a Vex and Toys here. Today we're going to be looking at Masters of the Universe New Eternia Cyclone. Now I'm pretty excited for this figure. I wasn't at first, but we'll take a quick look at the packaging and we'll go into why I like him. Well, I'll tell you why I like him right there. Um, we got all sorts of cool stuff on there. We got the back, cool stuff you can do. Uh, yeah, leech there. He, his teeth aren't painted. <laughs> I think that looks pretty funny. And some good art here. All right, let's get him open. All right, here's Cyclone out of the package. And I can't believe I was going to pass on this guy at first. This is a really cool figure. Um, let me get into it. I You can put the back, the shield on the back, and kind of give them that classic, uh, you know, arc look to them like he is, he usually has. They don't, they don't show that anywhere on on the box or anything in the promotional stuff, but I thought that's just kind of an obvious thing to do. But uh, let's get a closer look at his head here. All right, so here's the head sculpt. He's got some yellow eyes and some lines going on his face. Uh, I know some people didn't like this head sculpt. Seeing it up close and in person, I think it's a really nice head sculpt. I really like it. Uh, he looks, you know, I got this guy once I saw the mask, and even without the mask, I think he looks pretty cool. He's got, like, this kind of metallic look everywhere, except maybe, like, the red spots are metallic, um, but, or, I don't know if the yellow is necessarily metallic, but it's definitely, like, this kind of pearlescent, and most of the... The red is glossy, and you can see the how the light catches the the legs there. He's got a nice loincloth. So here's kind of the crappy part on my my figure. I don't know if everybody has this or not. As you can see, it, mine has a uh, little cracks at the bottom. It's not terrible, but I mean, it sucks. <laughs> but uh, also, I don't know if you can see this, but can you see like the little lines? Like it looks like a fingerprint on the uh, the plastic there, but it's not. It's kind of how it was designed. It's not just like a perfectly clear piece. It has little tiny ridges. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. And the shield kind of represents this a little bit. Um, let's take off the shield here. You know, so the shield, you know, it's got like the little planet type spots here too. Kind of like it does on on his little, I don't know what you call it, a radar compass or whatever. <laughs> I don't understand what it's for. But um, I can probably find out somewhere if I Google it. I don't actually know a lot about this character, except he, like, does tornado stuff. A lot of whirlwinds. I mostly know him from 2000X when he's, like, a kind of a guardian of some... Was it a mystery of Kordak? Oh. Okay, never mind. I can't remember it off the top of my head. So, let's get into the articulation here. He's got the, uh, kind of the giggity going on. Not really any head till in Masterverse. Uh, you can turn his head. Obviously, he rotates all the way around. His head can go back that far. He's got really good range in, on his torso. And he's got a twist. And just like all the other Masterverse, he's got the ball joint shoulder he's got a twist uh swivel swivel bicep double jointed i'll come back to this i wish this 
twisted right here. I wish there was a, a swivel right here, but you know, you do have it in the hand and then your hands and your fists both have the, what is that called? A swivel. <laughs> I don't know, but it goes up and back. You get a fist and an open hand on both. He does have drop down joints. I come down. It's pretty nice. It's a nice loincloth. Or, you know, I don't know what you call this here, but it's very nice. Matches the matches the rest of the paint pretty nicely. He's got swivel at the thigh, double knees. He's got swivel boot. And then you have your ankle rockers. And that joint as well <laughs> but yeah i'm really liking him let's see what he looks like with the mask on and to put the mask on we just push it in and whoop there we go and that looks super cool this is what made the figure for me but after getting him in hand uh, he's way cooler than I thought he was. Let's talk about the shield. All right, these come off. And you can put this on his back like we started at the beginning. You can have both of these on him. I don't know, maybe it goes better. They're, they are a little bit curved. Let's flip them around here. Maybe it fits better that way. Yeah, and he looks pretty cool that way. But I think I would probably be posing him more often than not with the, uh, the shield on the back and the flames. So here's an issue. I don't, you put the shield on and you know, it looks cool with him just standing here, but because you don't have a swivel on the wrist here, when you, you know, if you want to block something, you know, normally you would, you'd see it down. I'm bending it a little bit. Normally you'd see it down like that, but you can't swivel it. All right. You can't twist the uh, wrist where the shield is. So I don't know, that kind of bugs me a little bit, but you can always have it on the side, but it also, I don't know, these guys, don't have the best head turning <laughs> but you, know, you could probably make it work what i found <laughs> what i found works is you can put it in his hand All right, so putting it in his hand i feel works better if you want to make it uh like he's holding it as a shield rather than putting it on the wrist. Now the flame pieces, as you saw before, plug into the shield. But you can kind of make them twist like it's, you know, spinning, which I thought for this character is fitting. Now, yeah. All right, something like that I think looks pretty good. Okay, so now I want to show you something I found out uh, that you can use from another figure if you happen to have that figure, which I think this is, this probably should have come with Cyclone, <laughs> to be honest with you. All right. So this is one way, if you use the Orco effects from that Gwildor and Orco 2-pack from the Netflix uh, show, you can get yourself kind of a whirlwind effect here. But let's look at the hand whirlwinds, which I find to be much cooler looking than this. 
here we are. Now, they are a little small for him, but, you know, I was watching the 2000X series, and he does kind of do a lot of hand, smaller hand uh, whirlwind things. I don't have the uh, the Origins Cyclone that was uh, on the Mattel Creations. I don't know if they would work with him also. Uh, you might have to check somebody else to see if they have them. I think they they do the job, and you can see that I you know I probably have some uh, stuff in here showing you a little bit more on them. But what do you guys think? You guys uh, like the cyclone for a character I was not interested in? Uh, they they changed my mind, and I'm happy I got him. He's a very cool figure. So I do have one nitpick, and that's this helmet. It looks cool, and it's not too difficult to put on, but getting this thing off, <laughs> that's, that's, a different, that's a different story. I don't want to, like, damage it. But, man, it's not like a, okay, we just kind of have to get behind there. All right, so that's not terrible once you kind of figure it out. <laughs> he looks, I almost kind of prefer him without the mask now. He looks badass. And with those whirlwind effects, I think those should have came with him. Because, <laughs> I don't know, to me they look pretty good. They look like he's doing what he's supposed to be doing here. Again, for a character I wasn't interested in, I'm very happy I got him. He's very cool. And <laughs> I'm going to be doing a lot of pictures, I think, with him. A lot of uh, photography. This has been my review for... Masterverse New Eternia Cyclone. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I am bummed about this.